Hello everyone, it's Mike here from Player One Ready, and I'm doing another FIFA 16 review as as after my Andy Carroll one. This one is of the team of the season, Josip uh, Elilchic, Elilch, Elilch, I guess is his name. Is that that El, I don't know. Um, he is a Fiorentina attacking midfielder or centre forward as his normal card um, in the Serie A. This is his team of the season most consistent, and as you can see, it's got some very tasty stats indeed. 78 pace, 87 shot, 89 passing, 87 dribbling, 4-star skill moves, dodgy 2-star weak foot isn't great. There you can see, he cost me 71,000 coins. Um, it says I've got 10 games played and 8 goals scored with 4 assists, but this was one of the games. This. That team. I don't recognise any of those players. Um, obviously, they're all piles of utter shit. So, with that team in bearing in mind, this counted to a game. Ready? In 3, 2, 1, game over. Thank you for wasting my fucking time, you prick. But I thought I'd show you that before I get into the actual stats, just to show that was a game that counted. He's got 84 attack positioning, 80, uh, 85 vision, 94 ball control, 90 crossing, 93 curve, 90 dribbling, 79 finishing, 90 free kicks, 87 long passing, 97 long shots, 80 penalties, 90 short passing, 99 shot power, and 84 volleys. Um, he also has 4 star skill moves, as I said earlier, and a 2 star weak foot, and the long shot taker trait. Coming to the long shot taker trait... Here are some of the shots, well, a couple of the goals I've scored with him, and some of the chances I've put narrowly wide and missed. Probably should have scored. That one there was a tame effort, didn't really let him get out of his feet. Again here, a long shot with him, and it's narrowly wide, it's not a great effort. But, they're close, they're not too bad, I guess you'd say. This one, again, going for that, using that shot power, trying to smash it, trying to smash it far post, that didn't really quite work. Same again here, 97 shot power is, well, 99 shot power, sorry, is lethal. And once you get the hang of it, you'll smack, you're banging goals for fun with this bloke. It's he's a really fun card to use. Before I say it, go any further um, with the skill move I just showed there, I'll bring I'll, I'll bring this into mention. Um, I wasn't, I'm not going to do what I did with the Andy Carroll card and uh, split it into lots of different categories for his game. This time I thought I'd split it into the two most, the two best stats I think he has and is useful for an attacking midfield slash centre forward card and that for me is shooting and passing so that's the only two categories I've split this card into um, winning free kicks are there with his decent dribbling is another thing but I don't want to split that into his own category I thought as I say passing and passing and shooting I think is the main the key things you need to have in a centre forward or attacking mis uh, midfield card so that's what I'm going to concentrate on free kicks there I didn't score with him I, didn't sc I haven't scored any free kicks despite him having 90 I've only had two or three, and I don't really like his run-up. It's, it's, it's good when you're, when you're far out, it's decent, but when you're close in, you can't really get the curve around the wall that you really want, so not a big fan of it. But there we go. Going to this instead, long shots, where everything inside 25, 30 yards is basically a penalty because 97 long shots, you barely miss. You're gonna, and that shot power is gonna make it difficult for keepers. Plus, with that long shot taker trait, the shots naturally dip, i.e., this one, which dips straight over. I think Courtois was in goal there, and it's a fantastic goal. Uh, again, here, well, this one here gets his feet out quite nicely, wins a penalty. I was about to finesse that far corner, which might have been saved thinking of where the keeper was. So, that might that's gonna be a blessing. Uh, say, penalties, you could score them with anyone really, and I score that one fairly easily. The thing with this card is you definitely need to use the long shots and shot power because for his price range of I bought him for 70k and that's only going to drop. You're gonna you're not going to come across many cheaper players that are going to have the long shots that he has. I can't really think of too many or any at all that have the ability to do this from distance on a consistent basis. It's Tony Cruz has 88 long shots and about 86 shot power. But no, nothing comes near to this. I mean, I don't think I'd score this with any other player at the moment that isn't, like, you know, obviously that isn't Ronaldo or Messi or Neymar standard. That I think this was probably the best long shot taker at the moment if you've got a limited budget. So, this I can't stress enough, this this long shot, these long shots, because they are spectacular. Uh, they don't give keepers any chance, and obviously they dip, so it makes it even more difficult. But the bloke can finish as well. That is quite handy. He doesn't sort of... Like Paul Pogba, you don't just spank some things wide. And 80, 79 finishing, although it isn't great, I think you'd def definitely be fine if you played him with false nine or maybe even up top. 
people using Pato up top and he has 78 finishing and he scored plenty for me when I've used him. So I don't think that would be a problem 79, especially with that shot power. Like I said with Andy Carroll, just blast it. Although you can finesse if you want, 93 curve, that there is that option. But you're going to have to take everything left footed because shooting with his weak foot, where it says two star weak foot, it means two star weak foot. It's abysmally bad. You just blaze everything. I had one where Dybala played him through on the six yard box. I didn't want to show it because I just want to keep this video as short as possible and get to the good bits and just tell you about the bad bits because obviously, why, why would I lie about something being shit? That'd make no sense. Um, but he spanked it wide from the six from six yards out because he took it with his left with his right foot, and I was pretty pissed off. So put everything on his right left foot, and you'll be golden. Um, going on to passing doesn't matter which foot you play with. With is brilliant, but here he got four assists for me. I could have had more. I was trying to overplay things a little, if I'm honest with you, and try to get it back to him, which is my bad. But his passing is superb. Um, with that 87 long passing, he will make pretty much all of them. And 90 short passing, he'll do the same. 85 vision, he'll very rarely play it to a player that you're not aiming at. He usually gets it to that right player. So, it is a it is a huge part of this card. It's, um, say, shooting is top by a mile, then this. But I only say shooting is top by a mile because his shot is so good, because his passing is also superb. That's one of the rare occasions where he didn't play it to the right player, and I could have had Dybala throw on goal. Again, though, there's his silky dribbling. Little step over, or little step over, nutmegging his, uh, nutmegging his opponent. Finding Dybala, I tried to overplay it. Here another one, over the top ball, with his right for this time, to Dybala, and it's a dodgy finish. He took it with his right as well. Obviously, Dybala being left-footed wasn't the ideal solution, and I missed. Again, there, it's a nice pass. He gets it out from under his feet early. Good ball control, decent dribbling. Contributes to that massively. Did fuck it up, but, you know, he's, make, he's making those passes and creating, and creating that gap. Here, hold it up, little shimmy to the left, although his agility is not brilliant. And we'll find Luis Gustavo with a tidy finish towards the key, over the keeper's right-hand side. Again here, finding the pocket space, playing in Dybala. He gets a little out muscle, but gets free of his defender and slides that one away as well. This card, I can't stress enough, is the ultimate centre-forward card, I think, for under, for, you know, for under 100k. Because he's got everything. Long shots, finishing, passing, good dribbling. It's, it's all there. So definitely, definitely use this card. It's only going to get cheaper as more team of the seasons come out. I bought 70k because I really wanted to use it. In pff, It'll probably be 30k in a couple of weeks time with all the team of the seasons coming out. It's a really good card. I, honestly, to conclude this, I thought I'd give it just you know, a professional conclusion. Pros, long shots, shot power, finishing, ball control, passing, strength, skill move and the price. Very cheap. I've given it a 5-star uh, five overall rating out of 5 with only 2 uh, cons. So please use this card. It's brilliant. And, you know, if you like this video as well, please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll try and do more FIFA videos as, as more Team of the Seasons come out. It's a big part of FIFA, and I can't fucking wait for more.